Noise.com. Noise Reduction Rate, NRR, for Hearing Protection Devices, HPDs. We use hearing protection devices while working in high noise areas. But do we know the meaning of high noise and required protector to be used in mentioned high noise area? American Regulation OSHA Occupational Safety and Health Administration defines the noise requirements, according to Environmental Protection Agency EPA, of America all workers should use ear protectors when working in noisy areas having noise level greater than 85 dB for a time weighted average of 8 hours. All ear protectors are noted with a noise reduction rate. Before selection of ear protectors, we should now the term NRR, which is noise reduction rate. Hearing protection devices, HPD. Noise reduction rating is a measurement term used by OSHA as per requirement of Environment Protection Agency, EPA, under the guidelines of ANSI S12.6 standard. NRR describes the ability of the noise protection muffs and earplugs to attenuate noise to a satisfactory level. It's expressed in dB, just like the noise level, and it tells you how much noise a pair of hearing protection earmuffs or earplugs can block out. Higher NRR means that the HPD, hearing protection device, blocks out more noise. All hearing protection devices are given the EPA label with a certain noise reduction rating NRR. These ratings almost never exceed 33 dB while the lower limit is around 22 dB. You are required to choose the right hearing protection based on the screenings of the environmental noise conducted by the authorized body. For example, if a worker is constantly exposed to 97 dB noise, he needs a device that would attenuate the noise at least up to 10 dB, preferably 12 dB. That way, the noise level will be reduced down to 87 dB, or 85 dB. In order to calculate the real-world attenuation, you should subtract 7 dB from the advertised NRR value and then divide it by 2. In the end, subtract the calculated value from the TWA and that's the expected real-life attenuation. So, for example, if the A-weighted TWA is 97 dB, and the advertised NRR is 32 dB, the hearing protection device should reduce the noise level to 84.5 dB. Dual Ear Protection in extreme noise environments, over 105 dB TWA, it is advisable to use dual protection. But to estimate the protected noise level with dual protection, the NRRs of each protector cannot simply be added. There is a ceiling effect to the noise reduction rating, a limit to the amount of protection we can achieve due to bone conduction of sound vibrations. The effect of wearing dual protection only adds about 5 dB to the higher NRR protector.